on the quarterback, the uh, Broncos have been low key, like in this whole Carson Wentz drama. They've been brought up a couple times. Would you be a fan of trading for Carson Wentz at this point? After you just spoke about footwork and us Eagles fans, we know that's been part of his issue stemming back to when he was a rookie and his mechanics have only gotten a little bit worse in a sense this past season. Is that some, someone that you would want to take a risk on? Now I had Carson Wentz graded as my number one quarterback that year. I had four quarterbacks graded in the first round, Carson, Jared Goff, Paxton Lynch, everybody. And then <laughs> Dak Prescott, I had a late first round grade on Dak Prescott. And with Carson, it's a reclamation project now. I think he's been broken in a way that David Carr, not Derek Carr, but David Carr was broken by the Houston Texans years ago, where his career probably would have been different if they just protected him. And with Wentz, I'm not making excuses for the guy, but he's seeing ghosts out there. Like you watch the film and you just see he's feeling pressure when it's not there. He's abandoning the play. He seems to have a niche of teammates around him just kind of behind the scenes stuff that i know in philadelphia like okay if you're not in his click then maybe he's not maybe targeting you as much so you know you guys can speak on that if you'd like but with wentz i'd say no for the broncos even though they liked him back in the day but no because they're trying to get lock going and you probably move lock although he wouldn't beat out jalen hurts but like if you get carson wentz now you're it's a reclamation project and oh by the way you have pat Shermer one of the most boring offensive coordinators in the league. Like this guy's best on and, and don't give me the Chip Kelly stuff because everyone always brings up the Chip Kelly stuff. And I'm like, well, that was Chip Kelly. That wasn't him. Every year, even the great Minnesota miracle, like with Case Keenum, Case Keenum, for the love of God. And he always talks about his great memories of Sam Bradford. I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> how do you actually do something? Beef. Work with some, you're working with Pat Mahomes, you can chirp a little bit, right? You're right. I remember those Sam Bradford days, everybody. But Pat Shermer's offense is regularly rank in the 20s. In the 20s. Mm -hmm. And exactly. this is the offensive genius and guru. And this is the guy that's going to fix Carson Wentz. No, thanks. They need someone <laughs> that can kind of ignore Pat Shermer. And to me, that'd be a Deshaun Watson. They thought they had Stafford. They were very close. It's been reported otherwise, but that's bunk. That's from people just apologizing for Drew Locke. It was very close. <laughs> they almost had Stafford. They thought they had Stafford. Uh, they will be players on Deshaun Watson. We'll see how that works out. But that's the saving grace. Wow. If you can get a guy that good, kind of ignore your offense coordinator a little bit, that's the best plan for the Broncos. Yeah. This is the 